Hey, what's up? My name is Kristen. In today's video, we're going to go through all my Erin Condren planners that I used in the month of October and talk about how it went. So if that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. All right, it's already November and it's time for me to film one of my favorite videos to film. I love doing this because it's not just for you, like this is actually like me in real time going through and kind of assessing what worked for me and what didn't in my planning um, throughout the month. And if you've been around my channel for a bit, you might have noticed I'm like really trying to dial in on what like my planning style is and what works best for me as far as planners. And so I'm learning with all these different layouts how these planners work best for me and that will help me make decisions going forward. So what I have here, I have my Erin Condren 7x9 Daily Duo and then I have my Erin Condren 7x9 Horizontal Life Planner and then my Erin Condren also 7x9 Family Organizer book. Um, this is a monthly layout that has some extra functional pages added to it. This is a daily layout and this is a weekly layout. So I kind of have one of each um, that I'm working with. And I think a lot of people might find that they need one of each. Um, I love having all three of these because I love planners. I love Erin Condren. I love all the colors. I love being creative. However, I'm learning that I only need one or that I need to try to figure out how to use just one book because I'm missing things that I might write in one and forget to write in the others. So that's where I'm at and that's what I want to talk about. So I think what we should do is let's start with the weekly because this one gets a lot of airtime on my channel because I do a weekly um, plan with me in this. I think I've been doing it every week maybe for like two months. So this is my monthly spread. Um, normally I do my main monthly spread in my um, daily duo, but I learned that I needed to start writing things also in all my planners. Um, you'll see here, I'm kind of skipping ahead, but I basically wrote most of the same things in both, in all three of my planners because I was missing things when I would flip back and reference, if it wasn't on that spread, I would miss it. So um, I think in September I did that too, but it's just pen. I did use a couple stickers, um, but it's mostly just pen and highlighter. And I really liked, when I started doing this, I realized how much I like having just like a calm month um, with mostly pen but I still like the stickers, so we're still working on that. Um, anyway, that's what the monthly spread looks like. I did not use the dashboard because I have it all filled out on my daily, but this year I just have a bunch of stickies where I was trying to figure out how I could use the dashboard as like my goal planner. Um, and just, so I just put stickies and then I thought I was just moving them around. Like, how can I use this box and, and having it on sticky notes, I was able to move it around without like committing to anything. Um, but since I don't use the spread, it was easy to just use it as practice. So this was week 39 and, um, I used a kit from Black Dog Sticker Co. And um, it was, I just bought, it wasn't even a full kit, I don't think. It was just like a washi that I had bought, the thin washi, because I learned I really like thin washi in my planner. And I think what happened was I put it on these boxes because it wasn't big enough to go across the top of the page. I usually go from the edge to the coil with my thin washi at the top, but it worked out that it was exactly the right um, size to do this on the seven by nine horizontal. The thin washi at Black Dog Sticker Co. fits that perfectly. So if you're interested in doing something like that, that's a place where you could purchase some washi and it would fit. And, it, and I think the sheet has eight strips. So it's like perfect for a horizontal life planner. Um, 
And then I had used just random stickers from my stash to fill it out and other things that kind of just match, just leftover sticker kits, sticker kit stuff. And um, I think this week I figured out that I liked having all of my like events in one column and my to-dos in one column. And I was still kind of learning what layout I liked. Um, and then I learned that I did not like these bold sticker um, checklists. So I used them again here, but that like solidified it for me that it was like just too bold, too dark. It like didn't really go with the colors on the page. So the next week was a um, kit from Mama Gloria that I received in a swap. And again, it was very similar layout to um, this week where I just had like columns of information. And um, down here I did my meals instead of how I did it over here in the um, boxes. And I kind of went back and forth on that and then most of the time I kept them on the weekly spread. But um, I'm kind of changing up the way we're doing menu planning and so that'll come in another video. But um, I like having, the, having it in list form instead of broken up by day. So um, yeah, that was what I learned with that. Um, the next week was another, this was, I think I called this, oh no, this was the Halloween week. There was a, I thought there was a hot mess week. No, this was the hot mess week, okay. <laughs> this was um, where I used all the, the freebie sampler sheets that I had gotten in the one I purchased from the TPC sale. There were a lot of um, grat little shop swap bags that came as freebies with my order and they were all Halloween themed so I used them all in this spread and I tried to tie them together as best I could. Um, here I had just cut down a full box that said Happy Halloween on it but I cut it off to make sure it would fit well in the horizontal box because um, the horizontal, um, the height of the horizontal box is shorter than your standard full-size box that you would get with kits and such. Um, this was from, this was a deco sheet and a journaling sheet from Orange Umbrella Co. And I supplemented with um, my own stickers. These are all from Erin Condren. And again, I just cut the bottom piece off to make it fit in the horizontal. Um, these are Erin Condren customizable event labels and just a lot of deco and I didn't, as much as I loved the art here and the colors, I just put way too much on the page and I didn't like it and I knew I needed it. I don't want to do that again. But I loved the calming colors and everything here. And then this was the last week of October um, and I did, this was also an Orange Umbrella Co. deco sheet that I purchased and I only got the deco sheet and I just used my stash to find some complementary colors to use. Um, and then this was just some washi that was actually like 10 years old that ended up sticking um, staying down pretty good. So that was nice, a nice surprise. Usually washi tape doesn't age well. Um, and this was also Orange Umbrella Co. It was um, a deco sheet that is all of these little spider things. So um, yeah, that's how I used that week. And then we get to the end and I didn't use this page. This is a Franken planned book. That's why it's got a smaller coil. And um, there's a dot grid page in here. And then there's a plum paper checklist page in here. Um, the previous month I had put um, a cleaning checklist and a filming checklist on those pages. And I, there's a video about this and I actually, I didn't end up using it, but I still really like the idea. I'm just personally struggling right now with housekeeping, um, just like, you know, mental block, depression stuff, you know, mental health stuff. And so I haven't really been using it, but I do really like the idea of it. I'll link it up here um, if you want to check that out. But I, um, I think it's really a fun way to use a checklist sheet. And then I just had my cleaning, or not my cleaning, my um, filming um, list 
and the the steps to make a YouTube video. Um, and I just, I don't know, I fell off of that because I found another way to do that. And then also with the cleaning, I found another way. Um, I might, I think the sticky notes, it's, it's on sticky notes that I printed and I'll show it to you when we get to the family organizer book. I believe there's some in there that I can show you. But that was it. That was how I used my horizontal life planner in October. So let's move to the daily duo. Um, this is where I do my main monthly, um, monthly spread, like plan with me video, and I decorate it and everything. I've been using the Erin Condren monthly sticker book. Um, I really liked that book more than I thought I would. And I did just order the new one that just came out. This was from edition seven. I just ordered edition eight and it hasn't arrived yet, but um, I really like using that now. And so I just wanted to make sure I had it ready to go for next week or next year. <laughs> and um, um, again, I just use thin washi a lot of times to like denote like when something goes over more than more than a day. And um, yeah, I use the sidebar just for things as they occur, like notes that go with that specific week, usually. That's why there's notes down here because this is like a note about lunch that goes here. Um, and this was just didn't fit. This was an event that didn't fit in the box anymore once I had put some other stickers down. But I like using the sidebar in that way instead of just filling it up with a list because I do use my dashboard as like a to-do list. And so I do like to use the sidebar um, for things that I might need to note for each week. So here is my dashboard and I love using this. Once I decorate it and it's all pretty, I just destroy it. Like I cross things out. I don't worry about how nice it looks anymore. I just make sure to use it instead of worrying about how like perfect it is because that's how it serves me. Um, I have been moving this sticky note for months now. These are just some containers I wanna buy to finish like organizing my pantry. And um, I actually need to move that into a different book, <laughs> but it just keeps getting moved and I never check anything off. This is a sticky note that I started months ago um, for a trip that we have coming up in November. And it was just a checklist of things I knew I would need to get done before we go. And um, I did that on a sticky note so that I could move it to each month instead of rewriting it every time. And I left it there because in the November one, I just have a section that I wrote the remaining things on. And then this is just a brain dump. Like anytime I remembered or thought of something, I just wrote it down on this list and then I could kind of disperse it later on throughout the week. Every time I would plan a day or a week, I would look at this list and see if there's anything I could put into those plans. Um, and then down here, I just have my to buy, to go, and to call. I don't ever need to call anybody. Sometimes I need to email people. Rarely do I have more than like two of those. So I've learned that I need, I don't want to keep doing that. And the same with to go. Um, I just, I do a lot of online stuff and it's not ever really a, ton of places I need to actually physically go to that aren't events that are scheduled onto like my calendar. And so I'm reevaluating how I use this little area. I do think I need a bigger like to buy list. And so I might change this up going forward. Here um, was just some sticky notes. Um, I didn't end up writing any notes about school. I had some notes about work, but I went ahead. Um, and since I share stuff online, I know I'm, there's like sensitive information that I don't want to share online. And so I've started just writing that on sticky notes and then folding it up. If I do end up writing it in my planner, I'll just put a sticky note on top of it when I share. But this way I don't accidentally share things that I don't want on the internet. Um, this was just a list. One day I went and ordered a whole bunch of stuff for our upcoming trip. Um, from Poshmark and ThreadUp. I'm big on um, uh, pre-owned things. I usually check pre-owned things before I buy brand new. And so like Poshmark and ThreadUp are really great for like thrifting clothes and stuff. And anyway, that's besides the point, but I, I just made a quick little list, like an order tracker um, 
just so that I could move it if I needed to because I was spanning across, I thought it was gonna span across from October into November when things would arrive. And it actually didn't, it actually all arrived before November, but I had it on that sticky note anyway. And then I just had my goals here and some social media information here. This is changing. Um, really, I only need to track my Instagram follows. And the only reason I do that is in case I wanna know in the future what the trends were like. I don't really personally care. I, that might sound bad. I care about like, you know, when people follow me, I'm grateful and I think it's awesome. That's, I definitely care about that. It's really just like the number that I'm, I'm not worried about it. I don't, I'm not trying to get to a certain number or anything like that. And so I don't need this information, but the thing is Instagram doesn't have, they don't keep that history for you. Um, and so I just, I don't know, in case I really like data, so in case I ever want that data in the future, I just thought it would be good to, to write it down. YouTube does keep that information, and so I'm not, I'm not gonna track that on paper anymore. Um, so this I can move, this little, I usually keep, this is an Erin Condren um, page marker, and I like to keep it where I can get back to my to-do list easily. Um, so I'm going to put that in for November. So here we have um, the first daily spread was the last day in September. And this doesn't typically change. My daily planning doesn't typically change. Um, but my weekend and week at a glance usually does. So these pages probably aren't going to be that interesting. But um, here, I normally take the Saturday page and make it a weekend page and I break this in half and do Saturday and Sunday and then I still keep the to-do list here. And you'll see that going forward. But this week specifically, I didn't use my planner at all on Saturday and Friday evening, I didn't set up the weekend page. So on Sunday, I just used it as just like a brain dump of everything I wanted to get done before the weekend was over. And so I just threw a little sticker that came from the back of the planner, um, you know, one of these. I just threw that up there to cover up the date and then I put a Sunday reset sticker on it. Um, and that was the extent of that. And then this is where I will make um, a week at a glance. And um, I typically just take the schedule side of the daily page, which is, this is usually a Sunday or this is a Sunday page, and then this is a blank notes page. So a lot of people will make a week at a glance on this side because it's blank and ready to go and they've used the Sunday side. But since I don't ever use the Sunday side, I turn that into my week at a glance. And um, here I just highlighted to denote different days and I used some stickers, a date dot popped off there apparently, there's supposed to be a number three there. These are daily duo event labels and they fit right here next to the times on your daily duo. They'll fit like without covering up that time. Well, I buy those to use as stickers like this, as like headers at the top of my page. I really like to do that. Um, and then so you can see here, I had written out my dinners over here in the to-do list. And yeah, just a basic little one page week at a glance. Here, I think I was just taking some notes. I think I had started writing out my work hours over here and then I fell off. I must've moved it and did it somewhere else. Oh, I did, I did it on my um, my desk monthly calendar instead. So I, that, I fell off of that. And then here, I was just taking some notes on things I want to, um, I wanna, I wanna have like a planning routine to help me streamline my planning process and keep me focused on what I need to do next. Um, and I just made some notes about it that I wanna like laminate it and put it on a coil clip so I can keep it in my planner. And then I also said here that I could write it on a dashboard um, with permanent marker that's not gonna smudge off. Um, so yeah, that's just some notes I made about that. And then I have my daily plans. Um, a lot of times I don't use stickers. Every now and then, like you can see here, I, I had a little do not forget sticker. Um, sometimes I put a little bit of washi. It depends on how I'm feeling that day, but most of the time I am just trying to write down what I wanna get done. 
Um, here I have all my work notes each day. I had stuff going on. I would write the notes on these and just, I fold them up. It's just a, um, a regular three inch white post-it note fits in this spot pretty nicely. And then I would use it and then I would just fold it up so that when I would share photos or do a video like this, it wouldn't be public. These dashed things here, this was from, and then all these um, check boxes are from the KDK plans stencil that she um, did with Christiane Designs. Um, probably best, best planner purchase this year besides the actual planners. It's been my favorite thing. Um, and then, yeah, I just keep going on. Oh, I do this highlight here. I think I had started, let's look at this one. Here I was doing it on this side, and then I don't know, for whatever reason, I switched to this side and then just left it there. The highlight is the times when my son is at school. He leaves for the bus stop, and then he gets home from, and he gets off the bus and walks in the front door. And so those are, that's the time of the day that I have where I don't need to worry about him, and I can just get anything else done that I need to get done. Um, and so I like the visual, really. It's not like I'm ever gonna forget that he's at school. Um, it's really just for me to visually see how much time I have um, when I'm blocking things out to see if it's like doable. Um, and then, yeah, I just, here I use some stickers um, just because I was trying to use up stickers. Here I made a little list of things I needed to grab from the grocery store. I actually brought that with me that day. And then when I got home, I put, um, I put it back in here just to show you that's what I did. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so I had a bunch of stickers this day trying to use up all my icons. If you watch any of my other like playing with me videos, I'm really trying to use up a, as much of my sticker stash as possible. I just have way too much overspending, being excited about cute stuff but really stickers are not really my jam. And so um, they are, I don't know. I don't want to say they're not my jam. It's just, it doesn't, I just don't need as many as I have. Let's put it that way. Um, so I've just been, just found some ways to use up some stickers. Um, here's a Friday page with work notes and just my typical, you know, use this as a to-do list, have some work stuff here. Here I actually had, some tasks for work that I wrote down on the paper and then I covered it with my sticky note that I folded up just so that, you know, it wouldn't be public. Here's a weekend page, like I was saying before, I didn't do this on the previous week, but this is what it looks like. That's just a sticky note covering up some information I noted. This was a bunch, I had planned so hard to do all this yard work that day, I didn't do any of it. Um, not, not any of it. So this is a theme that I always plan to do yard work type stuff and I never get to it. It's just, I think for me, it's a little bit overwhelming because I'm usually doing it alone. Um, my husband works out of town and if he's not home to help me, it's not that I need his help to do any of that. It's just more fun to do it together, I guess. Um, and then Sunday, I just had my Sunday reset list and then just some to-dos for the weekend. Here is a um, week at a glance I made using some Erin Condren washi and some stickers from the back of the planner. And then these were just some Planner Kate little flags that I got to match. These um, highlighter and marker combos are the Erin Condren dual tip dual ink markers. And then here I tried to do like a little weekly review. Um, I didn't keep doing this, but I don't know. I thought it was fun that day to just kind of reflect on the previous week. And then this was a, um, this was a social media content planner type thing, really YouTube filming and stuff that I was wanting to get done and for filming. And then when I'm editing, I know like what times I need to link. Um, like whenever I point up here and say like, oh, there's whatever a video you might like. 
I, when I'm editing, I know what time that happens about so that when I get it on YouTube, I can find the right spot easily to put that in. And then um, this just notes to myself, this was my um, filming, like I showed you in my, in this planner, I had like a filming checklist. I basically just took it by the week and did the same thing here. Um, with just like the big high level things that are part of the process and just some notes to myself and then some ideas for future videos that I think um, I don't mind showing you I guess I don't think it matters there's nothing on there that's like a brand thing that needs to stay secret um, and then these are a lot of times I get asked about some things that I'm using in videos And so I thought it might be good to just have them have them linked in every video And so I just kind of made a list of things that people have asked me about And then I haven't actually done that yet, but that's a reminder that maybe I should go add that to my descriptions um, Here I tried to use a little bit of washi and just kind of make it cute, but it's not that's a rarity and then you see the next day I'm just back to pen and highlighter. Pen and highlighter. You can see I don't do a whole lot of, um, some days I don't do a lot of scheduling out. It's really, this is the meat of my daily planning. I'm very task-based. I don't have a whole lot of scheduling things. And so the, the to-do list is what I need. I almost don't even need a daily planner. I just need a notebook and <laughs> I can just make lists. And that's kind of what I started to notice when um, I'll show you in the Family Organizer book how I started incorporating that. So here I have, um, I had highlighted instead of doing, what do we usually do? I usually do like lines or dashes. I went ahead and highlighted like the beginning of the time block with what I wanted to do in that like set of time. So I didn't keep doing that. It's just looked, I think it looked a little too much for me. I'm very, very affected by visual um, calmness, which is why I'm learning that stickers aren't always the best answer for me. Um, the more like organized and tidy something looks on a page, um, the better it is for me <laughs> um, mentally, I guess. And so that's how um, I learned that I think having each thing highlighted like that is probably a little much for me. I prefer the cleanness of it just being plain there. So here we have just another um, basic pen only spread. And then I made this weekend list or this weekend um, page where I, where I blocked off each thing. And so this day I was like not doing anything that day. I was kind of having like a mental health day, I guess. And um, I had just said, OMG, you've been saying you're going to decorate for Halloween for two weeks, get it together, Kramer. And I used this little like mad pumpkin because I, on my list, I, it was just like decorate for Halloween, decorate for Halloween, decorate for Halloween. And I wasn't doing it. Um, I'm pretty sure I decorated. Yeah, I did put some outdoor decorations up that weekend. <laughs> And then this was my Sunday reset list. And then this was just a, the cleaning checklist I had started. Um, and this was really fun to do. So I, I made this, I wrote this out on my, um, it's a three inch plain white post-it brand post-it note. And then what I ended up doing was um, making a printable version and that's in my other planner. So I didn't keep moving this, but I thought this worked out way better than having the checklist here um, like stuck in the planner um, like this. This can actually move with me from week to week or day to day or whatever and it's a whole month's worth of like my recurring cleaning tasks. So I don't know, I thought that was cool and I left it here I guess because that's where I stopped using it. but. Um, and then we just have a to-do list. I just took some notes there. I use my weekend stickers. I don't like to use these in my weekly planner, but they work perfectly for making a weekend page in my daily. Again, another week at a glance. This time I used washi up top. Um, 
This is some notes I took because I'm trying to get ahead on filming. Pen only spread, um, or pen and highlighter. Um, the power went out recently that day. I took some notes on, I was watching a YouTube video and these are some books that seemed interesting that the uh, creator was talking about. I wrote down real quick some stuff that we were talking about getting from the grocery store. Uh, pen only spread. It didn't do anything that day apparently because I didn't check anything off. I don't remember what was going on that day. I, I said that I was going to go to a holiday market, but I know I didn't go to that, so I'm not really sure what happened that day where I didn't come back and check any of that off. Um, and then I just made a weekend spread. This is an Erin Condren sticker that just says, it's the weekend. And then I used my KDK Plan stencil to draw this little flag with some uh, mild liner, and I really liked that. And I actually, I forgot about that, and I wanna, I'll want i do that again maybe next week. Um, this was a week at a glance that I made, and then I didn't end up using this at all. Um, this notes page, I didn't utilize it at all as my filming and like social media thing. I had made some notes on some videos I wanted to film that week, but um, I didn't use the page at all. More pen, more pen. Um, this day I didn't use the planner. And okay, I know why. We get into, when we get into the family book, I will show you, but I think this week was when I really dialed into what I was doing in this planner. And then, um, then I started using this because I knew I was gonna have like a busy day and I wanted to really break out that I had like a, something I needed to do and some things I really wanted to get done. There was, that's when the Erin Condren um, early gifting sale happened and I knew I needed to order some things. I don't want to wait for the Black Friday sale. So I went ahead and did that order. And then just the same old thing. This here, I was just testing um, how um, I was trying to see if I could make an orange color with the um, dot markers I had because I didn't have an orange one, but I had like pink and yellow and I was trying to, I just had used an old page to test that. And then here's a weekend page where I just wrote in the day and then I found some orphan date dots in the back or in, the, in my, um, I found some orphan date dots in my reusable sticker album and then I just, um, this is Halloween weekend and so I used this one last little pumpkin I had and um, this was just everything I was trying to get done that weekend. I did most of it, I thought that was pretty good. And then here I didn't use it at all. And then I actually made, I did my uh, monthly reflection on that back notes page. And, and then because I used two dot markers on top of each other, it bled through like that. So I don't recommend doing that. <laughs> um, here I just have my monthly reflection and um, I've been using my divider as just like a dashboard for all my sticky notes as I make notes at my desk. Um, I will throw them here until I transfer them into whatever thing they need to get transferred into. And then we're into November and that is for next month. So that was my daily duo. And then finally, my family organizer book. Um, this is the October monthly spread. Um, it's not as full as the other ones, but I just knew I needed to write down some things in here. So I use this book really weird. If you're not familiar with the book, it's a monthly planner. And then instead of plain notes pages following, like the Erin Condren monthly planner has a calendar spread and then um, 10 lined pages following that. Well, this is a monthly spread, but then it's got these very structured like list pages. And um, I, learn that I don't want to use it this way. But I bought the book, so I'm trying to use it. Um, I just don't need it for what they suggest you use it for. And so I started playing around with ways to change it. And instead of my recurring schedule, I just covered that up with the stickers from the back of the planner and um, just kind of made like the, the breakdown of check, like different types of checklists I need throughout the month. And I had some monthly goals here. This was just like a, like, like more broken down. Like if I was going to the garden center, these were, this was like the shopping list. This was stuff I needed to get done at home this month. These were some notes I made about school. 
I had started really tried really hard to track um, YouTube stuff and Instagram posts. I, I, it's silly. I don't need to be trying to track habits. Um, I have these two pages clipped together because there's some information on there that I don't want anyone to see. Um, it's just trip planning for a trip I have coming up and there's just confirmation numbers and dates and stuff like that on there. I might show that in the future after we get home from that trip just so I can explain how I planned a trip, um, an international week-long vacation on two pages. Um, I, I might show that in the future. I'm not sure if that's even interesting. So this was just a list or a sheet that I had set aside to be a brain dump. And I put here that I was out of note space by the 22nd of the month. Um, just because I was just using this for random notes, things I wanted to do. And I didn't really maximize my space. I was just taking notes like quickly. And so I had run out of space by the 22nd. So I still had like a whole week left in the month that I needed to find more space to take notes. Um, this was a list of things I wanted to do for YouTube. This is a list of, I'm putting together a planner. It says binder here, but I changed it to a planner. Um, I was, I am reusing, um, redating an unused planner that I had bought um, earlier in the year. But um, I'm just trying to put together something to use um, to keep track of home stuff. So here is how I started planning my weeks in um, this monthly planner. There are four lined, blank lined pages. And I started doing my basic week at a glance like I do in my daily duo. And um, I just basically copied that format onto these pages. And I, like, I realized how much I liked that. I had split out the to-do list into different categories here. And then the next week I did this was inspired by both the Erin Condren compact vertical um, with how it's like a grid form of weekly planning and also rapid logging is a technique that a lot of bullet journal people use. It's because my planning is very task based. I just made lists each day and I liked the functionality of this, but I didn't really like how it ended up looking. So then I evolved into this style where I just have a very small sliver of like a week at a glance and then my list here. And you can see how much room I ended up having And this. I don't know why that's there. It's a random sticky note that says school on it. Um, I put, this is a freebie printable that from Sterling Inc that I printed on a sticky note. And then I just have it where I, I had it here at first and then I moved it here and it's nice because I do like the mini calendar. And the one thing you miss when you're planning on just blank notes page is you don't have that printed mini calendar. And I am one of apparently the very few people that utilize that mini calendar each week. So um, I did put that on a sticky, but you can see how much space I had left there. Um, and then this was my cleaning list and it's just a printed out version of the one I wrote out before. And that was nice because I could move it from each week and I would just check off my cleaning that I did each week on the sticky note. And I keep those, after, you know, I print like a few on a sheet. I think I can get six on a sheet. I print them off and then I just stick them here on my, um, on my cover. Um, and like I have one of these YouTube ones left and this is just how I plan out my videos, when they're gonna publish and then each step of the process there. And let's see what's next. So here is, the uh, memories page and I was going to utilize it for memories and so what I did was I put sticky notes here so I could just quickly jot things down and then I was going to go back and like write it in all nice. I didn't do that. I never do. I should know better. Um, I didn't use the um, lined page and I didn't end up putting any sticky notes here and then I have another random sticky note that just says inbox. Okay. But I did put a sticky note here in case I needed to take notes. So that is how I used all my planners in the month of um, October. I do need to put this, I forgot to put this into my November spread. So we can do that real quick while I'm closing out this video. Um, 
I do one of these videos every month. I really like it. I like what I learn from it and um, I will keep doing them. So if this is an interesting video to you, please make sure you're subscribed so that you can see the ones that come up in the future. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, again, please consider subscribing. I'd be grateful if you did and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.